Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. everyone <clears throat> we are in the marina in Ida our tender and we're on the hunt babe what are we on the hunt for um, Safe's mum's boat yep Safe's mum's boat we are huge sailing Lady Linda no it's not Lady Linda no. we're, we're huge sailing to come um, <laughs> fans with Slim and Soph and um, so it's obviously embarking on this amazing journey with her mum that culminates in um, a massive sail all the way, um, yeah, Melbourne to Osaka, which is we're so right. excited for them for the two-handed. Um, first chicks to do it. Yeah, first girls, first mother-daughter combo to do it. And um, so anyway, we're in the our marina's right next door to the marina where uh, Soap's mum's boat is. Sorry, Soap's mum, I can't remember what your name is, but um, so we are going in search of Fika, so we can have a look. We are fanning hard today over at Astrid the Wombat. We are so <laughs> bloody excited. <laughs> it's got RQ on the back of it, like it's got that written. That's how I knew oh, yeah. that they were here. So we just found in the marina a full can of Strongbow floating in the water. It's a uh, it's a good day already. Yeah, how much Ooh. are they? Five bucks? Do I reckon these are five? Uh, I don't know. You're going to pay me five are. bucks to drink it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It feels cool from the water. We could almost crack it open now. But anyway, if we find, <laughs> if we find a few more, we might have a six pack. Giddy up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Gav thinks we might make it under <laughs> It is shallow. It is quite shallow. Oh, better go down. Yeah, like a foot too much. <laughs> oh, what was that, you? Yeah. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, turn around. We couldn't find your mum. Gonna put a call out on Instagram. Can't find Fika. Can't find your mum. But we are coming back into ours. Let's check out the wombat from behind. Most of you do your washing at home and uh, put clothes in the washing machine. It's a little bit different in our place because uh, today we are washing.
washing our ropes. These are some ropes that oh, we had given to us, which is lovely. And um, they're super salty and a bit crusty. And so, you know, we thought we'd give them a wash and put in some um, fabric softener. So when you come on our boat, smell our ropes and they'll be like a summer breeze. Washing's done. <laughs> Oh, they smell good, like a summer breeze. <laughs> Follow us for some more washing tips. How good do your rope smell? Comment below. <laughs> so we put a bit of dowel up here and then we've strung the ropes over. One of the knots came undone in the washing machine, but they smell good. There's no salt crust on them, so it worked. I needed a chair to stand up to be able to hang them up. <laughs> Exhibit A. Uh, but yeah, they're all up here and that was a really good solution. We saw it actually on YouTube. It's worthwhile watching YouTube. There you go. Hey everybody. We uh, got, some, got a phone call today from the marina. We have been asking them. We're currently on a, a blow off dock um, and we're really, really tight. It's a really tight squeeze for us to be able to turn our boat. And as new sailors, we're doing a really good job at it, but it is, it is tricky. And especially if there's a wind blowing, which there always seems to be at the end of the day when we're coming back in. So we asked if we could get a blow on dock if one came up and they rang today and said there's one available if we'd like to go and have a look at it. So um, just got home from work, quick change, and um, we're heading down to the marina to check out our, what could potentially be the Wombat's new home. Gab's had a look at the map. You think it's a pretty good spot based on the map? Mm, um, I suppose it is. But the map's not to scale, so it's a bit hard to know until we have a look. So um, anyway, we'll go down and have a look. I'll show you where we currently are and, and what that looks like, and then we'll go and have a look at the new one. So fingers crossed we've got a good one. Gab's special maths. So there's Astrid there. Gav's gonna step out the distance that we've got here in terms of turning around the boat. So it's very, very um, specific maths here, but you can see there's not a lot of turning space for us to go into that blow off dock. So uh, fingers crossed, uh, the next one is a bit better. Okay, so it's literally that spot there, number five. Not sure that there's as much any more space, but it might be easier to turn around at the end there and then come straight in at that spot. Um, it's very, very hard to tell. Not these guys. Woohoo! Screw this. You <laughs> bastard. <laughs> the wombat's finally got another home. We're moving dock. Um, we've got a blow on dock, which we're hoping is going to make it easier for us with the docking stuff. And uh, we've got some special people here to help us move dock. So um, yeah, we're just getting getting organised now, ready to head off. And here comes Astrid the Wombat, leaving her old berth and moving to a new berth. Just bringing her around, getting her set up. How are we, That's babe, nice. in our new home? That's right. I'm filming, hello. <laughs> We're in our new home. We had a couple of helpers come to help us move the boat. Hi, hello. <laughs> hello. We're back. Dave, We're back. Dave and Connie just came down from Cairns to catch the lines today. Yeah, um, do a mooring. Yeah. But we're in our new 
spot and we are on a blow on now so we're hoping that this is going to make it easier for us Gav said it was definitely easier coming in so um that would oh, be it good out well, didn't it did it? work out well. well we're a team we just floated onto it <laughs> but we're a team now we're a team yeah yeah it's like riding a bike So new, new one, we come in down there, turn, and then straight into this blow on here. Um, so hopefully this is gonna make for some much easier day sailing. So jobs aboard Astrid this morning. We're gonna, um, Gav's gonna clean out the cockpit, hose it all out, give it a scrub, give the boat a bit of a scrub. We've got to scrub the covers of the clears and the clears as well they're getting a bit got a bit of salt on them and stuff so they need a good wash um, so yeah got a bit to do this is a bit dusty look the dust on there it's a bit gross um, Gav's up there getting things organized and yeah we're gonna give all of this a clean so yeah ready I'll show you the front of these clears need a good scrub. I need to do the windows as well today because look at those, they're disgusting. We'll get the windows done, get all of this cleaned up and uh, yeah, we'll be happy sailing. Gonna get your shine on. So like the a, movie. Yeah. <laughs> get a shot of it before. Oh, yeah, the before? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Look. But let me, I promise you, it's crap. Can you see the camera in the. In the if, you, if you go back a bit, it'll probably be more. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's probably copyrighted too, is it? Yeah. Just don't sing anything. <laughs> it's magic. Magic dick. Look at that. Yeah. I've been going to do this. <laughs> Oh, you've done a very good job about the top bit. You can do that. I'm yeah, just about to do it. Probably. Well, how much is the stuff? This is the gear that we're using? Yeah, I think the price is on it. Star Bright. $4 million. <laughs> I think. <laughs> is the price on it? No. I think this was just under $30. Oh, no, that's not bad, dear. Got everything to look nice and neat and tidy, isn't it? I think we'll go through a lot initially and then. You know, that won't, mm. won't need as much the second time. Give it a spin mm -hmm. so you get that bit underneath. Oh. Spin the hole. There you go. Yeah.
You're so good at this. This is your job from now on. Okay. <laughs> okay. All the stainless steel. Because we don't have much. Well, well you're away on next weekend and staying on the boat. So no, we're... easy. What? You're going to do that. I'm That's crazy. Polish. Anyway, that is mint. Good job. Thank you. Can you see the camera now? Yeah, you can. Woo -woo. Good job, mate. Thanks. <laughs> so, I'm a bit addicted to stainless steel polishing now, so I just want to try and see. It's raining outside, but I want to just see if I can polish up these handles. So, so the four. And let's see what it looks like after. So, not too bad. It, it does need a bit more Dremel just to get rid of this stuff here. But, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm going to try do these ones now. See how they turn out. Look at that. All shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Ah. <sighs> It's a very satisfying feeling. Now, I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so I've done all of this here where you can see it's all shiny. And I'm going to tackle this bit at the back here to give you an idea of, it's been a while since any of it has had any attention. So this is what it looks like here. You can see the rust coming on. So I'm gonna tackle that bit next. It's um surprisingly got very hot out here. Um so I'm gonna grab a drink of water first. You can see I look a bit like a beetroot and then I'll come back up to it. Gab's just told me that he's put the boot around the mast where we were getting the water coming through, which we're supposed to get a little bit of, but not to the extent that we were. And he wants my honest feedback on his job. So here it is. I think it looks pretty good. I think that'll stop quite a bit of water. Um, we're supposed to get trickles, but there was the what used to be there, which was a boot, has uh, long gone from the boat. So um, yeah, it'll be good to have that back again. And I'll show you where that comes through on the boat. Well, Gab will show you. I'll pass this down so I can show you where it comes through. Babe, can you just film the where that mast comes in so you can show the. Just explain from the Is top. Is it on? If you, yeah. you can explain from there. Mm. Right. So, yeah, the boot isn't going to cover everything, but if you look up in here, which you can't really see, but the mast, there's the mast, this little cover. So, because the mast has been uh, sealed in at the top there, uh, oh, the seal's a bit old, so. Uh, when the water sits on it, it just drips in there. So we need to obviously fix the seal, but anyway, we made the boot and that, uh, that'll cover that. But it goes into the, into the build there. Let's see, a bit in there. Guys, this is Brooke all the way from Canada representing Astrid the Wombat in her t-shirt that she won a few episodes ago. Thanks Brooke, you look amazing. You ever notice when we do those videos that it's you leaning into me instead of me leaning into you? Um, I like being close to you. I know, but I could lean into you. Let's try. Let's okay. try. <laughs> That's way better. <laughs> no, it's unusual. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you want to be just like Brooke and wearing our amazing T-shirt. Yeah, you look great, Brooke. Being the coolest cat in the marina then um, you've got another chance to win one of these t-shirts. That's how Brooke got a hold of hers like several episodes ago. All you have to do is comment t-shirt in this episode below and uh, we'll throw it through a randomizer. And um, if you're really lucky, then you'll uh, get a t-shirt. So Chuck in a t-shirt, comment. <laughs> yeah, get two, write the, the right, right t-shirt in the comments. We'll draw it in the next episode. Uh, and before you go, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. 
and uh, and yeah, like, give us the thumbs up, and that really helps us a lot. Thanks, guys, and thanks, Brooke. See ya. How does it feel when I'm playing with your bum while we're doing this? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs>